How's it going everyone? My name is Reloading64 and welcome to From Next Door. Now I saw Mr. Harshly Critical uh, play this game and it intrigued me uh, since I only saw <laughs> the beginning part of it. So I don't know how it ends, but it should be interesting because it looks interesting. It's a game jam game as well. This game is best played with headphones. Well, I already got him, sir. Um, <coughs> and I'm pretty sure... Matsuda-san, I hope you I hope you enjoy your new home. If anything comes up, call me. And don't forget, move with the arrow keys. Interact with enter or space or Z. I'll use Z, thank you. <laughs> pause to escape. Uh, escape to pause. Skip through the text is control. Shift to sprint. Okay. Well, home sweet home. I'm not looking forward to all the unpacking, though. Well, it has to be done. Ooh. It's the house next to yours. Nothing seems particularly out of the ordinary about it. It's the same design as the other houses on the street, fitting perfectly in. However, you can't seem to shake the feeling that it looks out of place somehow. It takes a while for you to realize that it's probably because the house doesn't seem to have any windows. That's odd. I wonder who lives here. You shouldn't bother whomever lives here. Whatever. I don't want to pack. Let's get out of here. You have no business over there. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh, hello there. Oh no, a person. I hate <laughs> talking. Hi. You don't happen to be a new tenant of this house, do you? To be the new tenant. Man, I suck at reading. I am. Namie. 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 I'm trying to... Uh. Oh, wonderful. A question mark. My name is Hanae, Ma Hanae Honda. I live next door to you. Oh, hi. My name is uh, Namie Matsuda. I did learn a little bit of Japanese, but I haven't spoke spoken it in a while. So I'm probably a little rusty, so bear with me. <laughs> Hanae, it's wonderful to meet you, Matsuda-san. The house has been empty for quite a while now. It has been... It was about time someone moved in. Do you live by yourself? Ah, yes, it's just me. Isn't it such a big house for just one person? I live here with my husband. Our son moved. Uh, our son lived with us, but he moved out some time ago. Well, I wasn't exactly looking for a house this big, but they made a nice offer. Yes, I heard that the price was going down after no one showed interest in it. Do you know why? I was wondering that myself. All right, I need to do voices. <laughs> Nothing in particular. Ask her about the neighborhood. Honda-san! How long have you... <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do that. How long have you lived here? How long? Hmm, for quite some time, actually. Was well, the neighborhood nice? Nice? Oh, yes, quite. It's very peaceful around here. That's good. Hey, Honda-san. Do you happen to know who lives in that house, the other one next to mine? Well, that's me. <laughs> My house? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's that house. I don't think anyone has lived there in a very long time. Oh, I just found it strange. It doesn't seem to have any windows. Quite odd, isn't it? It's been that way ever since we moved here. No one seems to know who owns it either. I see. Well, Honda-san, I have to go. There's still a lot of unpacking that needed to be done. It's all right. Anything you need, dear. We'll just be right next door. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Anything you need, dear. We'll be right just right. We'll, we'll just be right next door. Anything you need, dude. <laughs> I always think that's funny in uh, games. Tomoda san's instructions. Read it again. Uh, no, I don't. I think it's the same ones as before. Whoa, that's a little disorientating. Me, uh. Pretty sure the stove will go pretty much unused. You don't really cook at all. What kind of person are you then? I cook. I cook a lot. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> it's the fridge. I actually really am hungry right now. You should probably go get groceries eventually. By the way, if you haven't seen Mr. Harshly Critical, you should. He's very hilarious in my book. I actually started watching his videos a while back. It's your purse. Go through it. Yes, it's my purse. Wallet. Credit cards, money, nothing much. Yeah. Ugh. Work ID. It's your work ID. Namie Matsuda. Software design. Oh, like me. You're currently on break from work. That's why you decided to use this time to move into your new place. Uh, business card. 
Furukawa Housing, Kenji Omura. Furukawa Housing owns this house that you're renting and you owe it to... Ugh! I'm, I got an itchy nose, sorry. Omura-san, for getting you such a nice deal. Uh, this just makes me want to go to Japan so much more. It's a purse, go through it. More, cell phone lighter. Never mind, cell phone. Your phone is not here, that's right. Aizawa had it confiscated because she thought it would keep you from getting in touch with anything work and stress related. Her words! It's not like you don't have an actual home though, or even email. What kind of person doesn't have email? Lighter. It's real lighter. Even though you've stopped smoking, you will keep this with you. Good. Smoking is a very bad habit anyways. Uh, your mom would be disappointed if you started smoking again though. Take the lighter. Yes! It can be used for other things. Uh, you do, I don't feel like watching TV right now. What the hell is this? Oh, a couch. Okay, what about this? You can see this house next f door from here. It doesn't seem to have any windows on the first floor. Try opening the windows, but they seem to be stuck. Okay. It's a phone. Call someone. Uh, Mom. Murasan. Mom! Hello? <laughs> Mom, hey, it's me. Oh, hi, honey. I'm so glad you called. Did you finish moving into your new house? Mostly, yeah. There's a lot of unpacking that needs to be done, though. I'd come over to help if I could, but I forgot where you lived. <laughs> Why did you have to move so far away? Where I don't remember. It's fine, Mom. I'll get around to it eventually. I just have to get a couple of things done first. Things? Work things? Sexual things? Yeah! <laughs> uh. Oh, that's bad. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. Namiya, you're supposed to be on your break from work, remember? I remember the one. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, okay, come on. I, <laughs> I know, I know. But these are just a couple of favors for some guys at the company. It's important, but they they won't take... God damn it, the recording thing. It, it, like, hold on, guys. I'll put you up here. Okay, it's more but they won't take long, don't worry. I worry about you, Nami, eh? Who am I talking to? <laughs> Just don't overwork yourself, okay? Really, Mom, don't worry. Alright. Well, how's the house, then? You said it was surprisingly cheap. Is something wrong with it? Okay. <laughs> Not that I've seen so far, but I'm keeping an eye out. I still can't believe I got such a nice house for such a cheap rent. Wait. It isn't one of those shady neighborhoods, is it? Could have made another joke there, but... It's not, don't worry. Good. Good. You and Dad can come and stay with me when you're in town. There's plenty of room. Alright then, I'm already making travel plans. How long has it been? A year? <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, I should get back to unpacking now, Mom. I'll talk to you later. Take care, Nami, eh? Oh, your father's here. Stop yelling at me! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nami knows how to save energy. Oh, <coughs> oh, fine. Your dad says he loves you and to not forget to turn the lights off when you leave a room. Always, I'll call you guys some other time. Okay, that was Oh, wait, there was another one. Omura-san. Furukawa housing, Omura speaking. Omura-san, this is Namie, Namie Matsuda. Oh, hello, Matsuda-san. How have you been enjoying your new home so far? So far, so good. Glad to hear it. Thank you for finding me such a nice deal, Omura-san. You're a lifesaver. No problem. If anything comes up, give me a call. Okay, thank you. Click. Okay. Oh, God, that's so disorientating. The door is locked. You have the keys to unlock it. Yes, of course I'm going to lock it. Woo! The closet is full of things that previous tenant left behind. Why would he, a bunch of things the previous tenant left behind? Why would he leave everything? A bunch of things the previous tenant. Okay, uh, there's nothing here. Handful of books here, but left here by the previous tenant. Mathematics, volume one, fishing manual. Huh. Still need to unpack these. Cool. Bathroom. You can see your reflection in the mirror. Check the cabinet under the sink. Yes. Bathroom supplies: extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, deodorant spray. Why? Your dad used to set bugs on fire with the odor. What? And the lighter when you were a child, so that so much that your mom stopped buying these at home. I actually did not. I didn't kill bugs with it. I actually got like deodorant spray and a lighter, 
And it scared the crap out of me because I was a kid <laughs> at the time. Oh. Uh, you don't need to use it right now, okay? You don't feel like bathing. Well, you know what? Screw you. Closet is empty. Cool. Your door is locked. You have the keys to unlock. Yes. Let's do this. Namie. It doesn't work. Is it the wrong key? You check the key. It's tagged as tatami room. Or tatami. Uh, tatami. Uh, whatever. That's weird. This was supposed to be the right key. Test the other keys just to make sure none of them work, though. Did Amura-san give me the wrong key? Maybe I should, uh, should call him and ask. Okay, well, let me continue checking all the rooms. I've already unpacked some of your clothes, at least. Just your old camera. You haven't taken any new photos in a while. It's your new bed. You still need to unpack these. Cool! <coughs> it's your computer. Read an e email. Uh, from Aizawa. Hey, Matsuda. I heard you were moving. Why now, of all times? <gasps> uh, sorry. You know this was supposed to be your stress-free break, right? Can't you go a day without doing something? Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Don't overdo it, okay? Come back to work with a cool head. Thank you for being passive-aggressive. Sanjo, a favor. So, Matsuda, you're on break, right? You're lucky. Hey, since you have all this free time, can I ask you a favor? Can you look over this code for me? It's really important. I've sent you as an attachment. Thanks a lot. I'm not gonna freaking look at your code, you dick. I'm on vacation. It's a light switch. Okay, uh, well, now we gotta go call Matsuda-san. Oh, wrong uh, door. Uh, Omura-san, I mean. <laughs> Matsuda-san is me. Furukawa housing. Omura speaking. Omura-san, this is Naime Matsuda. Oh, hello, Matsuda-san. How can I help you? Omura-san, I was trying to <laughs> open a room with one of the keys you gave me, but no keys work. No, oh, no key works. Do you think you could have given me a wrong key by chance wrong key uh i don't think so i keep each house's set of keys separate are you sure the door's not just stuck yeah it's pretty locked i hit it multiple times with my fist strange maybe the previous tenant changed the lock and didn't say anything do you think you can contact him no it's fine i'll get someone to go over and open the door for you although i may have to wait until monday is it urgent okay now you're suspicious to me no not really i can wait thanks about san no problem. Call me again if you need anything. Why do you say everything? Why do you yell everything? Because there's exclamation marks at every... <laughs> at the end of every one of your sentences. It's getting late. You still have to work to... You still have work to do. It seems you'll have to leave the unpacking for tomorrow. You should go, get to your room. Ah, screw you. Fine, whatever. Uh, uh. It's already dark. You should turn on the light. Okay. Yay! It's your new bed. End the day? Yes. We pretty much checked everything and there's nothing else to do. I need to turn up the volume a bit. This is an interesting little game. Alright, that's one box down. A lot more to go. And this room is still locked. Oh, for a second there I thought my audio was cra <laughs> crapping out on me. You know if that... If what? Omura-san uh, said was true if the previous tenant had changed the lock without saying anything. You also wonder if he left the key somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. He did leave a lot of stuff behind. Cool. Class is halfway filled with your things. Is it this one? No, this is the bathroom. Okay. Okay, the footsteps are a lot louder now. <laughs> Class is full of things the previous tenant left behind. Look through it. Yes. You don't find it, uh, any key. Bunch of things the previous tenant left behind. Look through it. Yes. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. There are a pile of books inside the closet. Looks clo Looking closely, you notice one of them looks the slightest bit elevated. You lift the book one by one until you finally come across a metal key tucked away between the, those two uh, books. Whatever. Obtain metal key. Let's hope this is the right key. Otherwise, I'll have to wait until Monday. Cool. What? It's getting dark already. How long was I in there? What? <laughs> Door is uh, locked. Yes. Let's unlock it. It worked! Ah, fuck! Okay. Uh, forward. There we go. Uh, also, th this game is done on a very tiny screen. There's a bunch of junk inside the closet. Maybe you can sort it out tomorrow. Uh, okay. It's a simple vase. Or vase. Question mark? There's a window here, but it's all boarded up. Why is it like this? Turn on the boards, but they are firmly, albeit messily, pinned to the wall. 
Such messy carpentry. <laughs> you take a peek through the wooden boards. You can see the house next door from here, much like one of the windows in your bedroom. The difference, though, is that this one sits directly in front of the another house. So that house has a window after all. You try taking a look inside of the other house, but it's pitch black inside. Maybe Honda-san was right, and no one lives there after all. Let me guess, something's gonna come out. Well, I find the key to this room, but now I have to get rid of these boards. I should get a nail puller or something. The hell's a nail puller? A crowbar? A hammer? What? Although I don't think I own one. I guess I have to see tomorrow if it, it's getting late. Okay. You just take control away from me? Me, the gamer? Maybe I can find a way to pry those boards out today. Or I could just call Omura-san tomorrow. He can find an actual professional for that. Uh, I keep forgetting that's not the way to go. Amura-san. Sunday you can call. Oh, okay. So it's going to be like that. I'm going to go over here. Maybe I can ask Honda-san if she has a nail puller. Matsuda-san, what brings you here? I, uh, can I ask you a favor? Of course. I'm just giving them different voices every time. Do you happen to have a nail puller? What the hell's a nail puller? <laughs> a nail puller? Um, I'm not quite sure I'll have... Uh, sure. I'll have to look for it. May I ask why do you need it? I'm nosy that way. <laughs> well, there's this window in the house that it, and it's all boarded up. Boarded up? Yeah, I found it yesterday. It was inside the locked room on the sixth floor. Ask her about... The other house's window. Never mind. Uh, the other house's window. You know there's actually a window on the other house? I can see see it from the boarded up window. Is that so? I didn't know that. I think you were right. It doesn't look like anyone lives there. All the years I've lived there and not once did I see anyone come in or out of that house, so I just assumed. Oh, looks, look, it's getting late. Let me see if I can find that nail puller for you. I just woke up! Ah, oh, yes. It's a little hard to find, but here it is. Nail puller looks extremely low. It's covered in rust, and it seems somewhat fragile. Will this do? Honda-san, are you sure you want me to lend? Are you sure you want to lend me this? I'm afraid I'll end up breaking it. It's quite all right. I insist. Nail puller looks like it. It'll break at the slightest force. You don't want to borrow someone, borrow something, and end up breaking it. Take the rusty nail puller. No, I don't think I'll. It'll last that long if I use it. Honda-san, I don't think I can take this. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right. This thing is truly quite quite old, isn't it? Maybe it, it wouldn't even help. It's only one, the only one we have, though. I don't worry, Honda-san. I'll get someone to help me out tomorrow. If you say so. Oh, look, it's almost time for dinner. Well, I, we'll have to talk again some other time, Matsuda-san. Yeah, thank you for your time. Anytime, dear. Out of here. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. I guess I can... Okay, well, I'm not gonna borrow a frickin' broken thing. Why... Why is it dark in the bathroom? Okay. Okay, th that was a little weird that it was dark in there. Oh, is it because it's late? Yes, turn on the light. There's a bunch of junk inside, sort through it. Yes. Food tents and boxes are piled up with assorted knickknacks stacked inside the boxes. There isn't anything particularly worthy, but it makes you wonder why would the previous tenant leave so much behind. When you asked him about him, Amura-san only said that he had to leave because of an emergency and the details were private. At the beginning, you had thought, well, even better. He left behind a fully furnished house for you to rent and you didn't question it at the time. However, you wonder if you should have been more suspicious. Did he leave because of something private or was it something to do with the house? And most importantly, why did he never come back to get the stuff he left behind? I then you stop second-guessing things. Huh? You spot something at the back, back of the closet. It's a wallet! You pick it up and look it over. You open it curious, curiously, albeit expecting it to be mostly empty. It's not. <gasps> this guy had like a billion dollars in his wallet! There's money. An associate... Ugh. An associate card for some place you don't know. A few recipes and... <gasps> Uh, then there's also a handful of credit cards, an ID, and a driver's license, all belonging to one 
Dice Kissin. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Who is this guy? Is he the previous tenant? Why would he leave his wallet behind? I guess I'll call him Muda-san tomorrow and let him know to have this. Uh, let him know I have this. Maybe he can contact this guy. Obtained wallet. What about this? It's a simple base. Look. Yes. Totally. Want to Whoa. What is that? Looks like a light. You can see a faint glimmer inside the house next door. It looks like some kind of light. There's someone inside. You just knock through the window. Hey! <laughs> That looks very faint though, and it flickers rapidly. Maybe it's just a reflection on the glass. No, it really looks like it's coming from inside, from the inside. Start knocking. <laughs> hey! Hey! Turn off that light! <laughs> he did it. The light is gone. Alright, let's go. Um, there's really nothing to do then, is there? Because... Okay. Whatever. Computer read email. A little thing don't over. What? What is this? This is new. You know, with this thing here, I'd appreciate it. No! Fuck you! End of the day. Yes, let's just go. It doesn't seem like there's much. I didn't accept the hammer because I didn't want to break it. Whoa! I saw that. I saw that. Things are going to start ramping up, are they? Alright, work's done. I can get to other things now. No. Look. Yes. Still boarded up. Okay, whatever. Oh, I can call Amuras. Uh, yeah, Amurasan. Ah, uh, fuck. You have, like, two speeds. It's a phone call. <clears throat> Call someone. Omura-san. Furukawa housing. Omura speaking. Omura-san. It's Na Namie Matsuda again. Hey, yes, Matsuda-san. About that room. Yeah. That. I already <laughs> found the key. Really? Where? Inside the previous sentence things. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I thought I'd let you know. Found something else, too. It's a wallet. A wallet? Yeah. It belongs to the guy named das Daisuke-sen. Does that mean... That's does the does that sound name sound familiar to you? Ah, yes. Well, well, that's a previous tenant's name. You say you found his wallet? Yeah. Why would he leave his wallet behind? Maybe he just forgot it. His entire wallet with all documents, credit cards, and everything inside. What's happened before? I've forgotten my wallet. Not in a house, but well, it can happen. Sure. You want to understand? You're not a mad like us. <laughs> Do you have way? For me to contact him then i'd like to give it back uh i can pass it on to him if you want i think i'd like to give it to him in person can't you give me his phone number or something i'm afraid not uh and it's not that i don't want to it's just that i'm not the one with the, his personal information then who has it it's another guy the one that was in charge of this house before me he was the one who dealt with daskasen's contract i'm just giving this guy i'm just gonna give him a freaking uh accent he tried to find new tenant for the house after Sen left, but he left, <laughs> but he just left, couldn't do it, so they passed it on to me. Well, can you try asking him then, please? I see what I can do. <laughs> I call you later. <laughs> Wait, Murasan, there's something else too. What? About the locked room, it's weird. I found the window inside all boarded up. I was wondering if you could find me someone to get those things off. Board it up? Yes, I believe I can. I think I can even find someone to go over today. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. I guess someone to stop later today. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Amuda son. I'm gonna stop doing that voice. Uh, that was. Who's here? Is that guy Amuda son? That was fast. It sure was. Oh, so regardless, uh, thanks for coming. Okay, now that's done. Okay, so can I go upstairs now? So it wouldn't matter if I did it. Did still yes. <gasps> it's open. Also, sorry about the dogs in the background. They're jerks. They're my dogs, so they're jerks. <laughs> the window is open. Maybe there's someone living there after all. I don't like that. Okay, so wait. What do I do? Okay, well I, I guess let's just end the day. 
It's not like we can do anything else. Hmm. I feel like I haven't done anything productive in ages. Maybe I should call Aizawa from work to see if there's anything for me. But she's just going to scold me for trying to work during this vacation. No, we're on vacation! You... Okay. That was loud. What? I got it, I got it! Hello? Matsuda-san. I got that contact information you asked for. You did? What is it? Well, I couldn't get a hold of the phone number or anything, but I did get an email address. Anything will do, Omoto-san. Omoto-san tells you the address and you write it down. And that's it. Thank you, Omoto-san. Matsuda-san? Yeah? I had to talk with the other agent. Uh, I had to talk with the other agent. The one that was in charge of the houses before. He strongly advised me not to give this to you. Why? According to him, the previous tenant was a bit perturbed. Oh, perturbed? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what he meant by that, but please keep that in mind when you contact, uh, when you contact Sen, Matsuda-san. Don't worry about it, Amuda-san. Stay safe, Matsuda-san. Yeah, well, it's already late, too late for that. I already got crap going everywhere. Did I check the room? I think I already checked the room, yeah? Yeah, it was open. Okay, let's go. Uh, l let me email this guy. It's your computer. Contact Deskison? Yes! You sit down and type an email. What should you ask him about? About why he left. About the window. Uh... Window. Hello, my name is Matsuda-san. You don't know me, but I just moved into your old house. You sent a message. You stay in front of your laptop anxiously aw waiting for that for a reply despite having no expectations of it being answered right away at all. This is just making me antsy. I wish I had something to do. Well, let's just go. A new email. It can't be him already. It is! You quickly open the message. Do not open it. Get out of the house. Find the notebook. Huh. What? You type the response quickly. Wait for a few moments, but there's no answer. What does he mean? Notebook. A handful of books, a previous time, mathematics, fishing manual. Alright, uh, he left his stuff here, so. So the things tend left manually. Closer, yeah. This used to stand out and keep looking, yes. There was a hollow sound somewhere. It sounds like it came from behind the wood. You slide your hands across the wood until the fingers stumble upon some sort of indentation. It's a small square of wood separated from the rest of the bottom of the closet. Pull it open. There's a small cavity underneath. Just big enough to fit a handful of things inside. You stick your hand in, grasping for whatever is inside. You pull out a small notebook. What is it? You flip it open on the first page. The house, empty. One single window. No matter how much I knock, no one answers. No one has ever seen its occupants. But I saw the light inside. Yesterday, just a reflection. The window was open today. I tried looking inside, but couldn't see anything. Grabbed the flashlight to look, nothing in to look inside. Nothing. It's completely pitch black. Found my own window open today. I'm pretty sure it was locked. I think I saw blank. The page is torn in half. Flipping it reveals a handful of other pages have been completely torn out and the rest are blank except all except for one. You don't really believe me, do they? They already found a part of my research and had it confiscated for my own good, which is why I'm hiding this here. Although I decided to keep what's left of my research inside the safe. What exactly is this? Is it talking about the that window and that house? And the safe? Is there a safe here somewhere? Thought I heard something. Right, come on. In here? Okay, no. What about this? Previously, it's slightly tilted to. The, yep, it's definitely this. There's a safe behind the painting. Is it the one mentioned in the notebook? You try to open it, but it seems to require a passcode. What was that? The sounds seem to have come from the tatami room. What? Oh no. Why? The window is open. Was it the wind? The house window is also open. Like the notebook said, you can't see a thing. It's pitch black inside. Huh. Close the window and lock it tight. I'll figure out the safe thing tomorrow. Wait, so you just let it open? I hear sounds. 
You hear something. Yeah, I definitely do. Footsteps? Is someone out there? What should you do? Go lock the door. I'm locking the door. Fuck that. Carefully lock the door and stand still, holding your breath. Is there really something, someone out there? What do they want? Okay. Whatever it is, it's knocking right outside the door. God, that would suck. You stayed up the rest of the night, listening intent intently next to the door. Noises stopped eventually, but you only entertained the idea for going outside well after sunrise. Of going outside. All right. Okay, what do I do? Ooh. Floor is covered in dirty footprints. Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a person. An animal, maybe. Ah, uh, let's close this. Footprints came from here. It looks like something entered through the window. But I locked it last night, didn't I? Yeah, you definitely did. Huh. Strange black substance stuck to the lock. It looks like some kind of black spider web. Close the window again, wiping the substance away. I should probably clean this up too. You're not gonna... The safe behind it requires a four-digit passcode. I have no idea what it is though. Okay, but... What? Okay, maybe there's an another note around here. Take a closer look at things. Maybe uh, over here? Flip open in the first page. Uh, there's nothing. Part of your research. Oh, what about these books? Mathematics and fishing. No. Okay, so what exactly do I do? Oh, what? I heard that. Peter, read the email. Yes. Don't overdo it. Send safe. Oh, a new message. Desk is in. Mathematics Volume 4, Point, Spiral, Helix, and Axis. Mathematics Volume 1, uh, Mathematics Volume 4, is that what Sen meant? Pick up the book, it's marked on a specific page. It's a chapter about spirals. Uh, okay, so. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, just had to make sure the recording is good. Also, I found out that apparently there's a. Uh, Save feature, which I haven't done, so I'm going to do that right now. Cool. Okay, what about... Uh, item! Metal wallet lighter house. Okay. So. Uh, crap. <laughs> I forgot about this. Um. I'm going to write this down, that way I don't have to freaking look at it again. So, let's see. Point. Spiral. Helix Axis. Okay. So we got that. I don't need to look at this crap anymore. Okay. Handful of books left here by the previous tenant. Mathematics, yeah, blah, blah. Okay. A curve around the plane that winds around a fixed point. Okay, so this is all math stuff, which I already know about. <laughs> not to make myself sound... Uh, whatever. I, I'm not trying to make myself sound anything. I'm just reading. Uh... Point and point is underlined. Alright. I think I might get have it. That was a lot of freaking... Uh, stuff. Cool, I got it. Okay, I just wrote them down. Uh, and added them. I didn't really care. <laughs> uh, there isn't much inside except a few scattered papers. You pick up a few that have been clipped together. They're newspaper clippings. It's a small article that kind of sits nowhere near... The front page. It's about a missing child, though, to have run away from home. According to the article, the parents went to check on their son at, uh, at night only to find him missing from his bedroom. With only, with only the bedroom window left open. I'm going to move this a bit. 
The parents insisted that there was no reason for their son to run away, but authorities found no forced entry or struggle to signify an abduction. A missing child. This article is from nearly 10 years ago. Pick up the next article on the pile. Missing child. Runaway or abduction? It's another article about the missing boy. This one goes into detail about the investigation and how there were no signs of either abduction or the boy running away. The next article you pick up is distinctively bigger than the previous ones. A couple goes missing inside their own home. You read over the article. It's about the same couple with the missing child except this time they were the ones who went missing. After not hearing for, from them for days, a relative went to check out to check on the couple only to find that no one home. When the authorities went to investigate, however, they found that the house had been locked from the inside. The only thing open was the window of their missing son's room and on the second floor. There's a picture There's a picture of the house with the article, but looking at it only confirmed your suspicious suspicion. It was the house you're in right now. You check the date of the article, it was written just a few weeks after the first missing child one. You take a look at the other articles and they all seem to be about the si the missing couple or the child. The last one, however, is a small article about Furukawa Housing acquiring this house four years after the incident. According to the article, no one wanted to move in after it happened, so it was sold at a consider considerably smaller price. That explains why it was so cheap. At the bottom of the newspaper clippings, clippings pile, there's a handwritten note. Previous tenant disappeared without paying rent. Thought to be some kind of schemer or con artist. Con artist. There's another pile of papers inside the safe. He put the newspaper clippings back and grabbed the other pile. Aiko left me a message today that she wanted to stop by the house to say goodbye before she moved away. But I couldn't answer it at the time. I should have told her to stay away when I got home. No one was there. But her shoes were by the entrance and her bag was on the table. That window was open too. I think it took her. I can't tell this to anyone. They'll think I did something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend, which is why she broke up with me in the first place. But we still had a lot of respect for each other, and I wished, I wished her the best at her new job. I swear I could never do anything to her. Okay. She hadn't believed me when I told her about that thing, but still, I should have stopped her from ever stepping foot back in this house. I thought I heard something. And now she's gone. It took her, oh, it took her over there. Block up the window now because it seems locking the room didn't do anything. And tomorrow I'm getting the hell out of, getting the hell out and never coming back. I'll try to warn the agent who rented me this place, but I doubt he'll listen. What does he mean it took her? I read the notes again and then one more time trying to make sense of everything. It's hard to make sense of it in a way that doesn't involve wild outlandish theories. Decided to put away the, for the night. Maybe you can look over tomorrow. Okay. The window's fucking open again. The window's opening in. The same dark substance is, is stuck over the lock. There are no footprints inside, however. The other window is open as well. Huh. Ah, fucker! <laughs> God damn it, why was that loud? What the hell? Yeah, that would be my freaking <laughs> response. Oh, okay. What is this? I need to run. Uh, you don't need to tell me twice. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> when you hastily leave the house, you ended up tripping on the sidewalk. You fell down to the ground, hitting your head against the pavement. Yeah, that's right, dick! You stay over there! <laughs> you feel your consciousness fading away. Okay, I gotta admit, that actually got me. That was actually pretty good. Well, well done. Atsu An? Matsuda-san? Matsuda-san! Uh... Matsuda-san. Matsuda-san, are you alright? Yeah, just kissing the pavement. <laughs> what? What are you doing out here? You're bleeding. Oh, that? <laughs> hey, don't rush yourself. Do what I want, woman. Are you alright? What happened? I, I don't know. Come now, we can talk inside. Let's get that wound taken care of. There, that should do it. Gracias. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to say that in Spanish. <laughs> Honda-san. Hey, I can speak Spanish. Uh, I just like putting the accent onto it. Gracias, señor. Uh, I don't need to prove anything to you. <laughs> okay. Matsuda-san, what happened? Why were you laying on the street like that? I, was, I, I tripped. Yeah. You tripped? Yeah, I was running and then I tripped. Why were you running? 
to see the awesome taste of cinnamon toast crunch. Uh, that was a bad joke. <laughs> there was something inside the house. Something. Your head feels fuzzy. You have an idea of what happened that made you run out of the house, but you're probably remember it, remembering it wrong. That blow to your head must have gotten things mixed up. There's no way you saw what you think you saw. I, I think it was an animal. I'm not sure. My head doesn't feel quite clear. It looked like it was a nasty blow. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? No, no. I'm fine. Really, it wasn't that bad. I still think you should go. I, things like this shouldn't be played with. I'll just go tomorrow if I feel anything else. I'll be fine, Honda Sun. If you say so. So I insist you stay here for the night. Head wounds are no trivial matter. It's good to have someone watching over you. Honda Sun, I don't want to impose. I insist. I can't, in all good conscience, uh, send you home li alone like this. Don't argue that it's unnecessary, but you feel fine. That you feel fine, but at this point, you're too tired to argue. I thank you, Honda Sun. All right, cool. So I didn't end up going back home. Matsuda Sun, are you going already? Yes. Are you sure you don't want to get that checked out, or maybe even stay a little while longer? I would, but the game doesn't let me. <laughs> no, I should go. Truth be told, you don't really feel like going back home, but you don't want to overstay your welcome here either. Who cares? You could die. <laughs> you don't want to trouble Honda-san any further. Thanks for everything, Honda-san. Why not call the police and have them check your home? Or at least animal control if you still think that it's freaking an animal. <laughs> you stop in front of your door. Your mind rushes back into the events of yesterday or as it much as you can remember and you, and you hesitate. There's no way you really saw that thing. Your head is just confused because of the blow it took. Right? So why did you just run out of the house yesterday? Yeah, okay. You have no business here. Man, you can sprint, actually. Whoa! That was covered in dirty footprints. They're all over the place. There's a sticky part that's going all the way from the door to the handle to the table next to the door. Okay. Let's go in here. He made a phone call. Shouldn't call. I, I didn't want to call mom. Amura san. What do you mean I shouldn't bother him? God damn it. This guy clearly racked up my phone bill. He freaking stood on my boxes. Freaking. God damn it. What is this? There's some pillows on the floor and dirty. This guy just freaking crapped all over the place. <laughs> I know it's footprints. Yesterday, couldn't it possibly tr be true, could it? That creature. Rational part of your brain wants to deny it and chalk it up to that blow it to your head. However, the other part of your brain, the one that can't help entertaining the idea of superstition, the supernatural, and the unknown, says that what happened was very much real and very much a threat. Well, of course, there's footprints all over the damn place and you... Yeah. <sighs> Decided to entertain that part of your brain. Good! So far you only know a handful of things about this thing, but nothing concrete enough for you to make an objective assertion about what it is. Speculation won't lead you anywhere, though. What you should do right now is go over the facts and make sure to focus on the ones that are the most important. It only comes at night, it only comes through the window. Did it only come at night? Uh, at night. So far, that thing has only manifested itself at night. During the day, the house's windows remain firmly closed. Although, you also need to take in... Ah, sorry, I hit my mic. Into account the possibility that the timing might have just been coincidence, so you can't be 100% sure it won't come during the day. So, it's better than nothing. It only comes through the window. It didn't go after you before. How about that one? I think it came inside your house at least once before yesterday. It's had plenty of chances to come after you before, so why didn't it? Was it toying with you? Was it sniffing out for f the food? What does it want with you? Aside from taking you, some are probably inside the other house if Sen is to be believed. Would it come back again today? Would it try to take you again today? <gasps> because if it does, I need to leave. That's a good idea. It didn't chase you outside the house. For some reason, it didn't pursue you when you went outside. You had tripped... And were knocked out. It had enough time to drag you back inside. Did it stop because it wanted to, or was it because it couldn't go outside? It was it just another way of messing with you, like it seemed to be doing before? Would leaving the house actually help? It only comes through the window. Although like, you can't fathom why, it seems the thing only comes through this this specific window. Daisuke-sen seemed to have thought so as it 
this was the only window boarded up and the only room locked. Locking the window itself didn't do any good, though. We managed to unlock it from the outside somehow. Maybe that dark substance you found on the lock on something has something to do with it. Turns out you don't know much, do you? Well, thanks for that. Jeez. I, I put me through all that exposition and all you just tell me, oh, you don't know crap. The feeling of threat, though, feels very much real. No matter how much many ways you try to spin it, your gut tells you that staying in this house would be a very bad idea. Good. Let's go. You feel defeated that that was supposed to be a lucky break turned out to be a nightmare. Although, despite feeling reluctant to leave the house over someone, something so unsubstantial, so so out there, you have the feeling that it's better to leave now before something bad actually happens. You should pack the bare minimum at least before nightfall. But you do feel a bit uneasy walking around the house so empty-handed, considering that what might be coming. There's a bunch of junk inside of the closet. Cool, let's get the hell out of here! Yes! Well, this is it. You should be quick as possible and pack only the absolute minimum. And then, once you're out of the house, you can figure out where to go. Cool! Finally, a game with common sense! Some clothes, documents, and a lot... Not a lot else. This is probably enough, though. You've already spent enough time packing as it is. It's getting dark already. Time to go. I'm out of here! What the hell?! This wasn't here before. Try clawing at the dark substance, but it refuses to give it away. But if this is here, then that means... Oh, crap! It's already here. Oh, you dick. You're standing right in between the creature and the way out. However, with the door being blocked by the dark substance, it's more like you're cornered at the dead end. The creature stands in front of you, fingers stretched out, and mouth stuck somewhere between a grin and a snarl growing shows. Ro showing rows of pointy teeth. It doesn't seem to be in a hurry to do anything, but it's steadily coming closer and closer to you. You don't know what it wants, but it mal malicious. But it, the malicious intent is unmistakable, unmistakable in its eyes. What should I do? The burn it! You don't have any way of getting out through here, so your only hope is running away. That thing is blocking your way, however. Another choice. You have to escape somehow. Ah! Fuck off! Ah, fuck off! God damn it. Oh, and I didn't save. Ah. ah, crap. Yeah, I didn't save. Damn it. All right, guys. Uh, I'll be back. Wait, what's going on? And sh despite feeling sure of anything, something tells you that you conf confronting it directly would be a bad idea. Maybe you can also use some something to collect some proper evidence. What? I did exactly the same thing, and very impacts my clothes at least. Just an old camera. You haven't taken any new photos in a while. Maybe you can use this to take a photo of the thing when you have some solid evidence. Take the camera. Yes. Wait, I freaking. Oh, I don't know what I did differently, guys, but apparently I got a different path. This could just be a good place for hiding, waiting to show up. Hide. Oh shit, I wanted to hit no. It's cramped, but there's enough space for one person inside. You leave the door open slightly just enough for you to peek through the gap. You can see the sunlight fading away little by little as you wait anxiously, camera at ready. It's here. Okay. He's gonna see me, isn't he? Yeah, he's walking back forth, so he's gonna see me. Get <laughs> you fucker! What we saw yesterday was true after all, and it's back. The creature suddenly throws the closet door open and grabs you by the ankle. Arr! On impulse, you flash the camera right in the creature's face. Oh, the creature stumbles back, dazed by the flash, allowing you to kick it aside and out of the way. Okay, I didn't... Yeah, sorry, I skipped that. 
Uh. Let's get over here. Ah, what the fuck? The hell was that? Uh, great. Is it different? Because it's going on longer. What was that? Got to say, the audio in this is awesome. Can I move? No. Okay. That was right in my ear. Thanks for that. Okay, I did die. All right. Let's try one more time. Good thing I saved over here. But I got a different path. That was weird. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'll skip this and just get back to the point where I get chased or go somewhere. I don't know what's going on. Okay, it looks like I actually got the first ending I did in... Uh, I, I guess because in the last one I chose... Uh, that he comes through the window as the last option. And then in the second time I tried it, I chose that as a second option. Or was it the first? I don't remember. Alright. Hopefully I can get around this asshole this time. Okay, he's just gonna appear. I already know that. Yeah, okay, come on. Ah, fuck! Uh, hello? Ow. Ah, fuck! Fuck you! I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I actually decided to do try this one now because it doesn't seem like the other one. Okay. Uh, yeah, the other one, I'm just stuck and I can't get out. Maybe this one will be different because it gets a couple hits on me and then that's it. Hello. Yeah, sure, whatever. Let's just go. Ow, you fucker. Hey, I can't get out through here. We need mean I shouldn't bother him with this. All right. Uh, I can't beat this. Uh, for some reason, it, I gotta activate something and it's not letting me activate anything. So, I'm probably just gonna leave it here. You guys can try it for yourself. It's actually not that bad of a game. It's a little frustrating towards the end. Uh, at least for me. It was a free game, so... And it's not that badly made. I really like the audio. It's just frustrating in the end. So, yes. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, hack that like button while you're at it. Hack that subscription button as well for more videos. Comment down below and let me know what you think and just share it with a friend. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.